Hey everyone, welcome back to another Jazz Drummer Q-Tip of the Week. My name, of course, is Quincy Davis, for those of you who are new. For those of you who are not new, you know what this means, right? It's my green tea, and that means it's time to react to another incredible performance by a jazz master, and this week is no exception. This week I am reacting to the incredible jazz master, in fact, newly minted NEA Jazz Master, Louis Hayes, whose birthday it was on May 31st, just this week. So Lewis Hayes, what is going on with this incredible jazz master of the drums? Well, he was born in, I'm proud to say, my home state of Michigan. He's from Detroit, Michigan, and he was born in 1937, which means he is 86. Yes, he's still living, and he's still smacking the drums and cymbals, and if you have a chance to go see him, you need to do so because you are going to be so inspired by what you see. So some of his big influences include uh, Philly Joe Jones, Papa Joe Jones, who he was actually mentored by, and of course Max Roach. And actually in the solo that he takes towards the end of this performance, you can really hear a lot of the Max Roach influence. So Mr. Hayes moved from Detroit to New York City in the mid-50s to play with Horace Silver. And actually his first album, the first album that he recorded was with Horace Silver an album called Six Pieces of Silver, and he's only 19 on there, and it does not sound like it. Now, his playing with the Cannonball Adderley Quintet, who he played with for five or six years, is what really put him on the map, but he also went on and played with um, and replaced Ed Thickpen in the Oscar Peterson trio, um, along with playing with the likes of Joe Henderson, Woody Shaw, Jackie McLean, McCoy Tyner, John Coltrane, Cedar Walton, Freddie Hubbard. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. He's also led his own bands from the 70s, um, and he currently is, and he's been leading a band called the Cannonball Adderley Legacy Band for the last 20 plus years, and it is incredible. It's a powerhouse. So, like I said before, go see him if you have the chance. So, in this clip, you're going to hear him with the Cannonball Adderley Sextet, Cannonball Adderley on the alto saxophone, his brother. Nat Adderley on the cornet, not the trumpet. Uh, Youssef Latif on the tenor saxophone. Joe Zawano uh, on the piano. Sam Jones on the bass. It is incredible, and it's great footage of Lewis Hayes. For most of the time, you really can kind of see what he's doing. They, they really focus, take a lot of time to focus on him, especially in his solo. All right, you know what time it is. It's time to maybe turn the volume down because I'm going to yell my head off off in a second when I ask you something very important. But before that, tell me in the comments below what you got. I got my green tea. What do you got? What do you use to get to your zen? Tell me, okay? But anyway, it's time to do it. It's time to go in. This temple is going to blow your mind. I'm telling you. And they're just so cool. Lewis Hayes, oh, my Lord. It's just so incredible. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you really, really ready for Lewis Hayes? Well, let's go! Ooh. All right, here we go. They're not messing around, guys. Hold on to your seatbelts.
Okay, here we go. Here, drum trading. Sets back up, sets that vamp up. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Lewis wow. Hayes on drums, ladies and gentlemen. We're not Lewis worthy. Hayes, we are not worthy, Mr. Thank Hayes. You. Thank you very much. Lewis Incredible. Hayes. I told you, I tried to warn you. I really did. I did my best, but there's no way to warn you and get you ready for that right there. Somebody who is truly a jazz master of jazz drumming, the force behind where he's he's playing everything, the conviction, the feel. I mean, the, the ride cymbal was ever present above everything the band was doing. It's like the band could just sit in his pocket, right? And then his soloing ridiculous let me know if you want me to do a video breaking down some of these concepts that he's using um, to get through these fast this fast tempo let me know down in the comments so until the next time though you know what to do right you know what to do practice hard but practice smart take care bye bye